So friends, we'll show you how we do a endoscopic spine surgery. So this is the OT environment and here you can see this is a young girl with L4-5 disc prolapse. So here the disc has come out and it is hitting upon the L5 nerve root which is supplying the left lower limb. Here you can see this is L5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. This is the here at higher level you can see the disc is very well hydrated but here you can see at L4-5 the disc has become totally black and this is the left parasagittal cut wherein we can see that the nerve is getting completely entrapped. If we see the actual images here at the affected L4-5 level you can see this is the thecal sac which is displaced and this is the disc which has come out and it is pressing upon the L5 root which is supplying the left lower limb and you can see this is that fragment that I was talking of and then it becomes a normal thing. The right root is going very freely but this left root which is going from here is getting compressed by this disc. This is the disc which is compressed. So this is the right side, this is the left side. If we see the normal level at L3-4, you can see this is the thecal sac, this is the right nerve and this is the left nerve. So we are going to do an endoscopic discectomy at this L4-5 level surgery so this surgery of endoscopy that we just saw is done through this small scope this scope diameter is approximately 0.7 centimeters which is 7 millimeters you can see the length here you can send the length here of this scope and the length is as i said 0.7 centimeters which is 7 millimeters so this surgery we do through a 7 millimeter scope and this scope goes into the spine we can see it on the screen and then we do a discectomy with this particular surgery so this is the light source that has been used we can see this is the light source this is the camera and this is the water medium that we use for this surgery so the beauty of this surgery is this is a minimally invasive spine surgery and it is just done through a scope 7 millimeter incision and the scope size is so small that the cut is almost negligible. So when we do this endoscopic surgery, we also take the help of OAM and the neuro navigation. You can show there. The left one also the cut. So this exactly helps us in localizing the pathology because it's a keyhole spine surgery. The incision size is less than 1 centimeter. So exactly where we are, whether we are at the right place, whether we are you know, drilling out the right portion of the bone, this OAM and neuro navigation helps us in exact localizing the problem and with the advent of this minimally, minimally invasive spine surgery and OAM and neuro navigation, we do an endoscopic navigated surgery which gives us a smaller incision more precise surgery which is being done and the recovery is extremely faster. Thank you.